County Sheriff Lee Baca could face up to 20 years in prison if convicted of the latest charges against him. Baca backed out of a plea deal he made with prosecutors earlier this year. Tonight, KCALINE's Jeff Nguyen shows us what's in the new indictment handed down today. Under a new indictment, a federal grand jury charged former L.A. County Sheriff Lee Baca with three counts that include obstruction of justice and conspiring with his underlings to get around a federal investigation into corruption and beatings at the nation's largest jail system. Jody Armour teaches criminal law at USC Law School. This was a jaw-dropping case of an attempt to escape accountability and responsibility by the highest levels of the L.A. Sheriff's Department. It comes just days after Baca withdrew an earlier guilty plea when a judge rejected a plea deal with a maximum six-month sentence. The judge called it too lenient. The 74-year-old read a statement to reporters then. I made this decision due to untruthful comments about my actions made by the court and the U.S. Attorney's Office. Prosecutors now have the option to file even more charges against him. As it stands, Baca could face up to 20 years in prison if convicted. Baca said he would go to trial before he was incapacitated by Alzheimer's disease. I need to set the record straight about me. The investigation into the jail scandal led to the conviction of 20 people tied to the sheriff's department, including Paul Tanaka, who was once the number two in command at the department. Tanaka was convicted and sentenced this year to five years in prison. The judge in Tanaka's case is also on the bench for Baca. It's going to be again hard for him to distance himself, himself then from those already convicted wrongdoers. Baca's attorney sent us a statement reading, this trial is vastly different than the others. We look forward to this process and believe Mr. Baca will be vindicated after all of the evidence is finally presented. In downtown Los Angeles, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.